guys, I'm Stephanie and this is Steph Stove. And today we're gonna to be making a favorite dish that can kind of go with just about any meal that you're gonna make. It's just rice. So growing up as a kid, um, we had rice with a lot of things. Number one, it um, is a good filler. Kids like it and it's easy to eat with just great, you know, big pat of butter on it. Um, but it's inexpensive and it goes a long way to other dishes that you're gonna have. So tonight, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to make rice. So let's get started. All right guys, I'm at my kitchen sink and so this is kind of how I start with rice each time. One thing you have to remember with rice, it's kind of a quick and easy measurement. It's a two to one ratio. And what that means is um, the two parts will be the amount of water that you're using versus the one part, which is how much rice you're using. Um, in our family, we have a family of three, so my husband, my daughter, and myself that'll be eating dinner tonight. And so I'm just gonna make about a cup of rice, which will be equivalent for us. And that's how much of the dry measure I'm gonna use. So if I'm using a cup of rice, dry, then I'm gonna use two cups of liquid for a two cup of rice yield when we're finished. So I'm gonna first measure out some water. And remember when you're measuring with liquid measures, you need to use a glass measure like this. So I'm gonna fill it up and get two cups of water. cups and I'm gonna put this in my pot and as you can see this pot's kind of been huh, it's been around the world a little bit I've used it for years and I believe my granny used it for years beyond that is where I've got it I've had it forever I've made a lot of rice over the days and just like if y'all have seen any of my other videos where I'm making like tea or anything like that a lot of my dry ingredients I keep sealed up so this is my rice container so I keep this sealed as well. So we added two cups of water for rice. And so I have a dry measure. So this is a dry measuring cup. So I'm just gonna kinda go in. This is a cup, it's nice and easy. A cup of rice. And I'm gonna pour it straight into my water. And it never fails to be some of those little juggers that just get stuck in there. So Make sure I get every last one of them out. And then to this, we are going to take this over to the stove. So let's one and see we have this in the bottom. And I'm going to turn this on about a number seven, which is kind of like um, between seven and eight on my stove because it's a medium, medium high. And again, this is one of those things that you're going to need to watch because this will start boiling quickly. And with rice, what you want to do, you're trying to boil it so that it will absorb the water. And after it absorbs the water, then you're going to kind of lit it for a while, for about 10 more minutes. And it's going to do its thing. And it's going to be amazing rice. So, we're going to get this going, and we'll be back with you in just a couple of minutes. As you can see, it's been about another minute and our rice is really starting to boil and we want a full rapid boil here. So at this point, it's probably gonna splatter all over your stove and it does mine. It's just one of those things you just gotta clean up afterwards. I just do try to keep moving it around, create um, all those pockets. I don't want anything staying in where it's kind of clumped together. Because again, like I said, I want my rice fluffy, not sticky. Room. I'm just gonna wait, check on a few minutes, see that bowl coming right back up. That's exactly what we're looking for. And I'm gonna keep stirring this every few minutes, just kind of waiting as, as it's continuing to do this. The water you're gonna see is gonna kind of become less and less. As you do this, you will see, and 
Now again, the rice is kind of swelling up and you're seeing less and less of the water. The, the rice is gaining volume, which is what we want. It's a milky white look to it as we're finishing. If you notice the water is not clear because the starch from the rice has kind of started to release. It's been about a minute at this stage, and so we're just going to keep going. I'm going to give it probably about another, um, maybe a minute, and we'll see. If we stopped it at this point, it wouldn't really have enough steam to capture to um, to cook the rice properly. You would see it more of a kind of mushy consistency. So we want to kind of pull off most of that water. And again, you can see the rice. Again, I've got less and less water each time that's coming up. Careful because it will pop you. It kind of makes this some ugly words. So you see, my bowl is even faster at this point. We're almost to that point. Oh, about another 30 seconds. You want to be sure that whenever you're doing this, you're doing this with a pot that does have a secure lid to it. And you'll see as we finish this off at the end, I'm going to lid it and literally put its lid over it to seal in that steam for it to finish cooking. And so again, you can see there's not a whole lot of water left here. You see a lot more rice at this point. And like I said, do be careful because and I'm kind of lifting it, tilting it up just a little bit every so often just to keep it from popping me. Because I'm having this one it will hurt. As you can see now, we have what's very thick, thick consistency, very little water left, but just a little bit. This is the part where it's steaming everything in. It is going to be hot and angry when I move it. So at this point, I'm gonna kind of move a little quickly, undo my butter, and let me open it over here. And I'm going to add some more butter to this because I want a good butter flavor steaming through my rice. And so I'm gonna kind of stir this around really quick to it can melt through. I'm going to turn it off, completely off. And you're like, oh, Stephanie, no, there's water in there. That's okay, it's gonna stink to me. Let that sit. In about 10 minutes, we're gonna check it back. Rice will be perfect. See you in 10. All right, guys, it's been a little over 10 minutes, and so let's dig into our rice and let's see what we got. Look at that beautiful, perfect rice. I'm just going to be careful because that lid is going to be hot and it will burn in. We'll have a little bit of the residual steam on it. So make sure you got little people around, or even older people, but you don't burn yourself. So we'll go in and just loosen this up very gently. And ladies and gentlemen, that is some good looking rice right there. Is that good? Mm -hmm. hot. Mm. 
It's light and fluffy and almost just delicate. And the butter that we put in, you can't really taste the butter a whole lot. So in other words, it's not overpowering, but you can tell something's there. It's not just plain, ordinary rice. So, this is delicious, guys, and it will absolutely be a game changer. Stop buying that stuff in the box that they call, you know, what kind of rice? Did you do it fast? So, don't buy that. Just buy a bag of rice. It's much more economical. Remember, it's a two-to-one ratio. It doesn't matter how much you want. Double the amount of water as you would the amount of rice. Bring it to a good roaring bowl. My little cat just went by. She's wanting some rice too, probably. Make it to a good roaring bowl. Keep it stirring right before you set boiling process. Add some salt, butter, as much as you want, and just keep it stirring until you almost remove all of the liquids. Once you get to that point, tightly put that lid on it, turn your eye off, and leave it on the burner. It's gonna start popping. You'll see some moisture coming out. You think some bad things are happening. It's not. It's just trying to get all that moisture to escape. So let it stay at that point. Let it sit 10 minutes. If you got 15 minutes, it won't hurt it. It will be fine. And I guarantee you guys, it is delicious. You will enjoy it. Remember, if you want more content like this, good, simple, southern cooking, join me and subscribe. Steph, Steph Stove. Have a great night, guys. Good night. Thank you.